Hey everybody, it's Jess, and I am so excited to show you my Ice Queen makeup look. This is going to be my first full Halloween look. So I've already primed my skin, and I'm going to start off with a BB cream that's quite a bit lighter than my natural skin tone. You could also use a foundation or even white cream paint if you want, but this is what I had on hand, so that's what I'm going with. And as I'm blending this out, I'm going to make sure that I go down to my jawline and my neck. You could even do your chest if you like. And this is just to make sure that I don't look like I'm wearing a mask. If your ears are going to be showing, you want to do your ears as well. But mine are going to be covered by my wig, so I'm not worried about it. I'm also going to go over my lips a little bit just to kind of help them blend in and make them paler as well. Fabulous. Now I'm just going to set that with a translucent powder. You want to make sure it's translucent so that you don't add any color to your gorgeous ivory skin that you just created. Just get that everywhere. Fantastic. And now I'm going to put on some eyeshadow primer because I'm going to be using quite a bit of shadow and liner with this look and I want to make sure it stays put. And that needs to dry, so wave your hands at your face, make goofy faces, and have a sip of lemonade because that made me thirsty. And now I'm going to start on my eyeshadow. I have picked three shades of blue. One is quite pale. There's a medium shade, and then there's a darker shade. First, though, I'm starting off with just a pearly white that I'm going to put all over the place. This will give me a good base to work with and make blending the blues out easier. And I also want the inner corners of my eyes to be white, so that takes care of that as well. I'm using all shimmer shades to add to the icy effect. Great. So now I'm going to take my lightest blue color that I've chosen and I'm going to pat that in the center of my eyelid from the lash line to the crease. I know it's hard to see because it's so pale in this video, but I promise it's there. Now I'm going to take the darkest of the three shades and pat that onto the outer corner, again from the lash line into the crease and making a V shape with it. Next I'm taking my medium blue shade and I'm putting that right in between the first two also into the crease and up to my eyebrows. We're going quite dramatic here so we want to make sure there's lots of blue so I am also smudging that medium blue shade onto my lower lash line just to help it all flow. And now take your trusty blending brush and blend that out. This is just to get rid of any harsh lines, make sure it all flows, the colors flow into each other smoothly. And if you lose any of the color during the blending process, you can definitely go back in and add it and then blend again if you want. And I decided to go ahead and just extend that eyeshadow all the way up to my hairline because we're going for a pretty dramatic look here. And I did this with the medium blue shade. Now I'm taking a silver pencil and I'm just going to do the inner corner of my eyes and about the first third of my upper lid on the lash line. Next, I am going to take a pale blue, like a sky blue liner, and I'm going to do the next third of my lid. And I'm making quite a thick line because I'm going to put on false eyelashes, and I don't want those to cover up my gorgeous eyeliner job. And lastly, I'm taking a cobalt blue shade to do the outer third of my upper lid and then I'm going to do about halfway across my lower lid with this blue shade here. Now I'm going to take this big chunky pearly white pencil and I'm going to go all along my lower um, lash line 
This is to white out my lashes and also just blend that blue in a little bit. And I'm just wiping it off on my hand to get rid of the blue that it picked up. Now I'm going to go over my eyebrows with that. I don't want to completely conceal my eyebrows, but I do want them to be lighter. Um, I have quite dark eyebrow hair. If yours is lighter than mine, you can probably skip this step though. And now to turn my eyebrows blue. I am taking the medium blue, actually I think I used a darker blue um, eyeshadow shade, and just patting that right over where I put the white pencil. And this is a quick and easy way to change your eyebrow color. Perfect. I'm just going to make sure that I'm even. If I'm not, I'm going to fix any mistakes before I move on to the next thing. But I really like how that came out. So next I'm just going to take some of the medium blue shade and I'm going to do a little contouring. I'm not going super heavy, but I'm just adding a little bit under my cheekbones where you would normally contour just to carve out my cheekbones a little bit and then I'm going just down the side of my nose and that I'm not really going to blend in it just kind of makes it flow from my eyes down to my nose a little bit but I'm definitely going to blend that line on my cheeks like my life depends on it I don't want to be totally stark blue but I also didn't want to use a bronzer for this because, like I said before, we are going for pale and frosty here. And I just dabbed a little bit of uh, the BB cream that was left on my sponge on there a little bit. Because I thought the line was a little bit too harsh. Now I'm taking a stark white eyeshadow and I'm just using that as a little bit of a highlight and I'm using this teeny brush for this because that's what I had. Also my eyeshadow is teeny and if I used much a much bigger brush I'd pick up all the other colors that were surrounding it and we don't want to do that. Now for the false eyelashes. I took a pair of just regular lashes. I put a little bit of lash adhesive on the tips and then I dipped them in an iridescent glitter. If you're going to do this, please use a cosmetic grade glitter. Don't use just anything, especially if it's going around your eyes. Um, you definitely do not want to get your eyes all scratched up with glitter. That is not good. And this first one did not want to stick onto my face, so I ended up going back in, putting a little bit more glue on there, and trying again, and was actually successful this time. And especially around Halloween time, you can find all sorts of awesome fashion lashes. You could probably find some nice glittery ones similar to what I made but I already had some lashes and I already had the glitter so instead of spending more money I just decided to do a DIY sparkly eyelashes. You could also use a white or blue mascara if you have one that would work fantastically for this look as well. I don't happen to have either of those things so I went this route. And there's a little bit of a close-up look of the lashes. I really liked how they came out. Thought it was really pretty. And looked great with this overall look. Now I am taking a white eyeliner pencil and I'm actually going to do my lips with this. You could definitely also do blue. Um, if you wanted something a little more natural looking, you could do a pale pink. Um, you know, whatever feels good to you as far as this goes, run with it. Just cover them all with the white, like so. And then I am taking the same iridescent glitter that I used for my eyelashes, 
and just dipped a lip brush into it and I'm patting that glitter all over my lips. Again, it's hard to see in the video, but if you go back and look at the pictures at the beginning, you can tell that my lips are quite sparkly. There you go. And I like how that came out. I thought it was really pretty. And I just decided to dab a little more glitter over my eyes, a little bit on my cheeks, because we all know that nice, beautiful, fresh snow sparkles, so I thought that would be good. Now I'm taking my e.l.f. High Definition Powder, which I love this stuff. It's a very fine, fine shimmer powder. And I'm just using um, quite a bit for this kind of product. Usually I don't use nearly this much, but I think it adds to the whole sparkly, shimmery effect that we're going for. And that. And here's my final look. I am wearing the crown that I made my blue wig and my old wedding dress. Um, you could find a wedding dress or a nice blue dress at a thrift store um, with no problems for a good price. So I hope you guys like this look. If so, give me a thumbs up and in the comments, uh, let me know if there's any other looks you'd like to see and don't forget to hit the button and subscribe. So I hope I will see you guys back again for my next look. Bye.